Happy March. Do I have makeup in my hair? Forever and always, I have makeup in my hair. I just filmed a bunch of videos. That's why I'm like full glamming it up. Did TikToks and I did YouTube today. It is very late in the month. I feel the need to just out myself there. I haven't vlogged at all. So we're gonna vlog all weekend. I have a reason and I will tell you what it is. I mentioned it on my podcast that I had to take a round of antibiotics. And the unfortunate thing about that is it wreaked havoc on the gut flora that I've worked so hard to get in line because the whole gut bacteria situation is a big part of health issues I've had in the past. And so it's taken me a very long time but I had to go on antibiotics last fall for UTI and apparently those antibiotics really didn't kill it. I've been walking around with a UTI for quite a while and I didn't know because I was asymptomatic, but when I went to the doctors last month, I had to pee in a cup and they're like, yeah, you have a UTI. And I was like, oh, great. So long story short, I, had this antibiotic, I had to go on it for 10 days because I, the last time, few times I had to go on antibiotics for the UTI, I had a terrible reaction to them. And they're like the f really strong ones that you only take for like three days. But I could never complete the whole cycle because I would have like an allergic reaction to them. So this one, it was a weaker one, but it was a 10 day. And 10 day antibiotic is a gut health nightmare. So what it did was it triggered some perimenopause symptoms. When I tell you it was a perfect storm. Cause by the way, after doing some research, cause I'm like, this is weird. I'm having symptoms like I'm in menopause, like hot flashes mood swings like you would not believe and it was like a week after my period so it wasn't even like normal time to get pms like the mood swings were so intense and so full of rage over dumb shit like i spilled pineapple and i flipped the fuck out it was like so irrational. It's like one of those things where like you watch yourself doing it and you're like, you're being so irrational, but you can't control it. That's how you know it's hormones, right? Anyway, and I'm like, what's happening here? Like this is out of left field because I haven't been having these types of things happen, you know, like regular periods here and there. Yeah, but like nothing, nothing mer perimenopausal intense like overnight started having sleeping issues like all of the classic like mm, it's coming lady which I mean obviously it, it happens like nobody tells you it starts in your 30s I it didn't start for me in my 30s but like it does for a lot of people I'm 46 so it's like you know it makes sense but like I wasn't having these types of symptoms until I went through the antibiotics so anyway I do some digging come to find out that your gut bacteria is responsible for regulating your estrogen as well as producing estrogen. Your gut also produces estrogen. Nobody talks about this. I don't think half the fucking doctors know this. But um, part of it too is like when old hormones are like dead and need to be kind of detoxified out of your system, they get cycled into your small intestine. So if your gut flora, i.e. intestines and all of that, your bacteria is not right, those processes can't happen normally. So if I'm in my perimenopausal years, but my gut bacteria is like rocking and rolling and I'm having no symptoms, but suddenly I wipe out my gut bacteria and now I'm like hot flashing, like, no, it's not right. It's not fucking normal. It's not good. So now I'm like interested to do some more research on like how much does gut 
flora affect people in menopause and if you get your gut bacteria to a good place will that help you in menopause everything i'm finding is pointing to yes so this is all interesting but i'm on two probiotics right now i'm doing an express probiotic that's like pre pro and post and i'm taking a liquid probiotic and i'm bouncing back with lightning speed like it's been a week because i had inflammation like just all this stuff like inflammation like two pant sizes in 10 days is this vlog life tmi i don't know i've been talking about this stuff on my podcast so i don't really care it's a fact of life and it is what it is by the way these necklaces are launching well they're definitely launched by the time this video is up this is the Harmony Mini Choker. This is Peach Moonstone. These are the clasps you guys were like requesting. I have them in gold and silver. And these are small six millimeter beads. They come in four sizes, so you can have them as long as you want. And yeah, those are live. So go to buyglamlatsu.com and check them out. Yeah, we'll see where this, where this weekend takes us probably to target actually right after this. <sighs> Michaela, every time she posts something on TikTok, if you don't know who Michaela is, she's a TikToker and everything she talks about goes viral. So she just posted about a new concealer. I don't know if it's even new, it's from Winky Lux. So I'm going to get it so I can review it. We are in the world's worst target ever, but I found this little tank top for eight bucks and I think it's cute. I think I'm gonna get it. Okay, I also found this one and it's five dollars and I don't have any yellow in my life, so I thought why not? And now to find this Winky Lux concealer. This is it, this is it. It's in stock. Apparently it's sold out on, on Ulta, but they have a white. concealer it kind of reminds me of the it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealer which was so thick I hated it so I think I'm gonna not like it but that's just an assumption you never know so I am gonna try it tomorrow not film yesterday because I didn't even take a shower yesterday but I am wearing my new shirt and I am testing out that new Winky Lux concealer. I just filmed the TikTok first impression. That drawer is open and my OCD hates that for me. Let me fix this camera here. I'm cleaning up my makeup station right now or my desk, my whatever you want to call it because I am going to back to doing taxes. Yesterday, all I did was clean the shit out of my house and add expense re receipts, like piles and piles and piles of expense re receipts because last year I launched my crystal jewelry. So I have all of that tax nonsense to do, like when you launch a new business, a small business, Ugh, such a nightmare such a nightmare but anyway so I had to do all of that that's a really good way to get me to deep clean my house because I don't like deep cleaning I clean every week but like the deep nasty cleaning I hate doing and I did it yesterday because I would rather do that than do my taxes <laughs> but I did get to finish my expenses like separating everything out and now I have to go and actually add everything up and create like a um, a sheet so I can open up TurboTax and start inputting shit. The way I hate doing this, the way it like makes me feel so sick. My body has a physical reaction to it. I don't like doing it. I'd literally rather be doing anything else. I'm sure every like a lot of people feel that way. So anyway, yeah, I repotted some of my plants yesterday, cleaned and did taxes. Also binged the shit out of Bridgerton season two. I have two more episodes left. I am obsessed with this tank top, by the way. Do you wanna see? 
I tucked it in. This is the medium. This is Wild Fable. It's the one that I, I showed you yesterday and it should be the clip that you saw before this, but I love it. I need it in every color. It's got a little sexiness going on, but it's still very casual. Like I feel like I could wear this on a date, right? Cute. They didn't have any other colors besides, did they have black? Yeah, they had black and I was like, oh, I already have a bunch of black tanks, but no, I'm probably gonna go back and get it in black because it's not online in black, but it is online in like a lime green as well as a brown, like a camel color. So I think I'm gonna order it. It's $8. Yeah, I become that person who, when you like something, you buy it in every color. I live in shirts like this, especially in the summer. I live in Florida, so these are the types of things that I wear. So if I find one that I really like, why well, would I not get it in different colors? Especially like creating content, you just see me from the top. So I like to mix it up. So if, if it's the same shirt, but it's in a different color, I'm gonna just throw my hair up now, roll up the non-existent sleeves, and off to tax land I go. Wish me luck. Good morning. I look amazing. Mm. Coffee is life. Um, I just figured I would jump on while well, I have some peace and quiet to chat. I don't know if you guys remember when I first moved in. If I can find a picture or a clip, I will insert it. But that was trees. There were some dead trees that vultures used to hang out in, but it was all bushes and trees. The whole lot was like the woods. My neighbor next door owned it. And apparently she sold it because some of the dead trees on there were gonna cost um, like $13,000 to clear. Wow, I look really great. So there's this building company that's going around and just buying all these uncleared lots for like some stupid amount of money and building these piece of shit scab homes on them, which is like, I don't give a fuck, but just don't do it near me. Well, they did. They bought the property that my neighbors sold and they sold it to some f fucking people from Miami, which I have nothing against Miami. I like Miami, but Miami is loud. And this town, this peaceful little town that I moved to, like you can hear some cars. There's a main street yonder, but for the most part, birds, wildlife. It's quiet. It's peaceful. You don't hear like fucking loud music playing or like partying going on or screaming children or just the inconsiderate bullshit that happens in city life, which is why I, as a single person, moved to the middle of fucking nowhere. Is this turning into a rant? Yes. But it is what it is. So I sacrifice social life to have quiet because I just need it, especially after living in Las Vegas. But these fucking people moved in and they must think that they're still in Miami or something because they leave their dog out in their yard for hours and it just barks and barks and barks and barks and barks. 10 o'clock last night, this was happening. And it's like, not the dog's fault. I have dogs, I love dogs. Why are you leaving your dog in your yard at 10 o'clock at night and giving zero fucks about every other person around you? Like what, they don't hear your dog barking? Or the fact that at eight o'clock in the morning, they have their children in their backyard screaming, like not just playing, like screaming bloody murder. This goes on all times of day, but like eight, eight o'clock in the morning is like a fucking hard no for me. And then there's one of them, 
the guy who stands in the corner over there and he watches me while he talks on the phone really loud. I've been dealing with this all day, every day for weeks. So my peace and my quiet in my little sanctuary in the middle of nowhere has now become neighbor hell again. I feel like there's a lesson here somewhere because everywhere I go, I end up in neighbor hell. Everywhere I go. Doesn't matter where I go. I move to the middle of fucking nowhere. Population negative two. And somehow the inconsideration finds me. Like, how do you step outside of your house, make really loud fucking noise, and not think, like, I don't want to bother my neighbors? They're not walking out of their house noticing that, like, no one else is making noise, like, that, that it's fucking quiet. Anyway, am I pissed? Yes. Am I ranting? Yes. Is this keeping me from being the loving, kind person that I want to be, and I'm working so hard to be? Yes. So that's probably the lesson. I gotta work through it. So I just got this in the mail from Amazon. It's a liquid lipstick organizer, but I wanted to show you what I'm gonna do with it. So these concealers are all just leaning up against here and they constantly fall over and it drives me nuts. So they're gonna go in here and I'm so excited. All right, so there they are in the container. Um, I thought I could fit one of those long ones in here, but it doesn't fit, so I just have to put these here for now until I find a better way to do that. Um, but for now, that is how it is. I think these things are gonna fall off. That's why I think I need something here. I need like almost like a super skinny one. But the ones that were in here, these, they don't, they're too wide, just by a hair too, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But anyway, at least these will not be falling over anymore, which, except for this two-faced one, which I actually need to revisit because, do I even like this anymore? I don't, I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, it's better than it was. It's better than it was. I actually might, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shift this. This will keep things from falling off the edge. I'll just do this. I wasn't gonna do it this way because I wanna be able to see still, but I think this is the smarter way to go. So there, so that's better, right? Is that good? This got a little messy here, but it's all right. I can still see everything, which is key. Not my skin glowing to the gods. This is a foundation that I'm trying right now uh, from L'Oreal. It? it is this Age Perfect Tinted Balm. I'm sorry. I do have cream bronzer, cream blush, and a cream highlight on. I haven't set my face or anything. I'm actually gonna do my eyes right now. I'm using a broken stand. But I am excited to share that this portion of the video is sponsored by She Glam. I'm gonna be using their Modern Love Shake Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow Set. These are cream eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows, and they are so pretty. I posted these. I posted a picture of these on my Instagram. I'll insert it. I really like the look. It was one eyeshadow. These are really pretty. So I'm gonna insert quick swatches so that you can see what those look like. And I'm gonna just do a look here right now. Let's just do it. They build nicely. So I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Wink. And this is a metallic-y pink and that's the shade that I'm wearing in that picture. It is so wet looking. I am just going to pop a little bit of that right on the center. 
It dries down, but it stays looking wet. This brush, just to kind of diffuse the edges out. The last shade is maybe my favorite called Shine, and it is a glitter, but the way this like has a dual chrome quality to it, is it green, is it gold, is it pink? I don't know if you can see it under there. The lights are like really intense because it's gloomy outside. Yeah, can you see it? It's like pink. Yeah, let's just put a little bit in the middle. All right, so this didn't turn out as simple as I was going for. The wings turned out a bit bigger, but here is the eyeshadows. Like, aren't they so pretty? And the whole set is eight bucks. I love She Glam because you can also shop She In clothing. It's all part of the same company. I just did a big order and I ordered a bunch of tops from Shein and then picked up a few things from She Glam. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a haul. I'm gonna put on my Rhodonite Harmony mini choker. This is from my newest collection. It's live on the site now. Um, Rhodonite is a stone of love and it just goes really well with the eye look, I think. So that is the look. So go check out She Glam and thank you to She Glam for sponsoring this portion of the video. So I just finished uh, filming for my Adore Me haul. I've been partnering with them one, like once a month and it's been really great because I love the products. This isn't sponsored right now but this video was supposed to go up like weeks ago and I told you guys I think that I had to go on antibiotics and well that's fun I love that for us we're having a storm and my power just went out welcome to Florida yay <laughs> rainy season is upon us my friends so anyway long story short caused massive inflammation, I instantly gained weight, like instantly. And I know it was a lot of it was like water weight and hormones because you do not gain fat that fast. This just doesn't happen. So usually if you have like a rapid weight gain, a lot of times it is inflammatory, like it's an inflammatory response, but yet still those take time to go away. So me, I have for most of my life defined my self-worth by my body and my weight. And, I, and it has driven me to focus on my health and focus on my fitness. Of course, I'm doing it the best possible way. It wasn't always the case. I mean, I did, I, I never had an eating disorder or anything, um, nothing like uh, that severe. I did, I think, overtrain a lot because it, it was things that I could control. But anyway, um, I was a little triggered after the antibiotics because I, I started gaining a bit of weight and I went from what you saw in my clothing haul in January and February to not wanting to get on camera at all in a bra and panty set. So I just filmed my Adore Me haul. I had to, the brand is like, where the fuck is our video? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, how do I explain to a brand? Like, yeah, I went on antibiotics and uh, I gained some water weight and I don't want to put myself on camera in your bra and panties. <laughs> like, ugh. Anyway, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, I gotta do it. Am I back to where I was in January and February? No. Am I slightly insecure about that Adore Me video? Yes, but I'd say I'm halfway there. So I'm doing a lot better and I look a lot better than I did. So I'm like, I gotta bite the bullet, man, and it's real life. And this is part of the journey of me healing. It's probably a combination of inner child and shadow work and all, all of the above. And so it really made me realize like I'm not completely healed from that. I can still be triggered. Like 
starting to gain weight and lose control of my health will trigger me and send me spiraling. <laughs> so I think I did good considering. I, I think I definitely noticed that the work that I've done, I could see that play out because I didn't spiral as much as I probably would have five years ago, four years ago, um, three years ago. <laughs> So I'm out running some errands right now, like household errands. That's kind of mostly my agenda today. I picked up a new table and chairs. I understand the color is disgusting and the paint is chipping, but I'm going to rehab that with some black paint and I'm replacing the Adirondack chair in my yard because my dog is climbing underneath it chasing the geckos the lizards and he's like obsessing and he like is climbing his whole body under there and he's not focusing on going potty and like things he should be doing I don't like the Adirondack chair overall I've decided that they're very overrated unless you're in a fire pit situation where you want to lounge but like the way that you're sitting it's just they're not comfortable first of all at all especially a wood one and um I don't like them. I think they're overrated. I, I, if I get get a um, fire pit, I'll probably do Adirondack chairs. But for me to like sit outside with the dogs, I got this cast iron beach stro set. These are going for like hundreds of dollars online. So this guy on Facebook had it, and um, I'm just gonna I'm go running to Home Depot now to get some exterior spray paint, and I'm gonna sand them down like just where it's chipping and stuff i'm just gonna spray right over the shit because they're gonna be sitting outside in the sun they're gonna roast and i didn't want to care about them you know because they're gonna get destroyed but the fact that they're iron and kind of heavier is good for when we have like storms and stuff like that so they won't like blow away theoretically unless it's a hurricane in which case like whatever but we won't be thinking about hurricanes we're just can't live my life around potential hurricanes just stick them in the garage but anyway so I'm heading to Home Depot right now I'm gonna get two planters some spray paint and I'm gonna check out some of their plants for the landscaping I'm looking for lavender and rosemary and some possible shrubs boxwoods and some taller shrubs I'm going for the Mediterranean Tuscan kind of vibe I'm gonna create a Tuscan paradise in my yard because why not? Okay, so here is the table and chairs before. I don't know if on camera it looks darker than it is. It's like orange. It's like a orange color. It's so ugly, but I started to sand some of like this one off and this paint comes off pretty easy. So I started to tackle this project and I ran out of paint. <laughs> so I'm going to probably need at least like two more cans, but this is what it's starting to look like. You can see the before I did power wash it and it blew a lot of this paint. It like was red underneath and then it was beige on the chairs and orange on the legs and the back of the seat. It was so weird. Anyway. It's starting to come together. I can see it. And I really like how it's coming along and I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be beautiful. I think it's gonna be perfect. Okay, I finally finished these. I got more spray paint and then it took me a day to do like a couple coats. Like I did a coat, let it dry, whatever, but I think they look amazing. I ordered an umbrella. It should be here in an hour. I will show it to you once it's up. All right, you guys, here it is. Is it not the cutest thing ever? Just for context, my house is, is white with black shutters, which is why I got the black one. I was gonna get the, the natural color, but I'm like, white and black just is the theme. It's just resting there though, because I need the base. My mom's gonna pick up the base because they only have one at the store near her. I don't have one at the store by me, so she's gonna grab it, but I love it. So I figured I would just show you a couple things I did in the yard, because I did pick up some 
bushes and things from Home Depot. Um, actually, these are from Walmart. So I have these Italian cypress bushes and they're the, the same ones you see like in pictures of Tuscany. They grow really, really tall and skinny. And I have four of them. This one is bent over because it was windy. I have to fix it. Um, but I'm also going to do three trees. So I did plant my olive tree there. I, I moved my lemon tree to there. And I'm going to put another, like a lime tree or maybe another lemon tree there. And then I ended up planting my avocado tree, but it's not doing very well. <laughs> uh, this stem is dying. And I don't know why. I'm going to have to cut it off and hope for the best. And I gotta pull off some of these leaves, but I hope that it, I hope it comes back. I did end up getting lavender and rosemary, like I wanted, and I lined the puppy pen. If you can see, there's rosemary, and there's another lavender and rosemary, and I alternated them. Um, so there's that. And then over here, I did these, these are called pencil holly. So I did one on each corner of the house, one on each corner of the lanai, and then one, so then, yeah, and on the other corner of the house. So they sort of are symmetrical. I have my bougainvillea that it was over in the corner and I replanted it there, and I planted some little grasses. So everything looks very small and silly right now because it's not grown in but it's rainy season and it will and I also put a pot with some rosemary on either side of the lanai as well and then um yeah this stuff will grow in eventually um rainy season is pretty much upon us and everything grows like crazy i have these crazy boots on right now because red ants are real i got bit by one the other day and then i've got the worst bite on my ankle i'm just gonna they have like these bamboo sticks i want them to grow straight so like they need to have the stick yeah, so that's what we're looking like right now. And the roofing people are coming, I don't know, next week and or in two weeks. And they'll take that dish off because I don't use that. It was just here. And once that's gone, it'll look so much better. And I'll have a pretty new roof. Look at me. My little house. <laughs> R.I.P. Another phone stand. This is the second one that I've bought of this exact thing. Between the car ones and these, honestly. I guess I'm gonna hold this now. I just wanted to finish off the vlog. It's already April and I started to edit and realized that I didn't do an outro per usual. That's just how it goes. My hair is still air drying, so it's a frizzy mess. Um, I just finished filming. This is the ColourPop Something Stone collection. I love it. Um, it showed up at my door today and I filmed filmed a uh, TikTok and I just, I love it. And it goes with my little shirt. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for the month of March. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see you guys in my next one. I just want to hold you. I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want you.